Hi, boys and girls. It's time for our test in vocabulary and comprehension. So yesterday you should have taken the grammar part of our test. So now we're looking at this test. You're used to taking this at the end of the week, but since we're doing Friday catch-up days, we're doing our test on Monday. And we're on page 21, and it's lesson 22, The Journey, Stories of Migration. And we're going to start with the vocabulary, and then we'll go on to the comprehension. Comprehension means understanding the story. So number one asks, what does the word migrate mean in the sentence below? The geese migrate when they fly south for the winter. Migrate. Learn to find their way. Chatter to each other. Move to a new place. Or stop often to swim. Number two, solid. The milk is a liquid and the cookies are a solid. Is a solid something that is good to eat? Something that is hard to make? Something that has shape and weight? Or something that has sugar and frosting? Think about what we learned in science about solid liquid gas. Number three, chili. Suki put on a sweater because she felt chilly. Did she feel afraid, cold, generous, or lonely? Why would you put on a sweater? Number four, landscape. Garner drew a picture of the hilly landscape. Did he draw a picture of a curtain, a scene, a sleigh, like Santa, or vacation? Go to page 22. Accident. Johnny drives carefully and has never had a car accident. He's never had a car bucket, coconut, hammer, or wreck. Number six. Automatic. An automatic car wash opened on the corner. If it's automatic, is it self-powered, hand-powered, wind-powered, or human-powered? Number seven. What does the word autograph mean? Lacey waited in line for the singer to autograph a picture. Is she waiting for her to paint, sell, sign, or take a picture? Number eight, telescope. Rick studied the moon through his telescope. Now, a device is like a tool. So is a telescope a device for looking at small things? Is it a device for looking at shiny things? Is it a device for looking at moving things? Or is it a device for looking at things far away? Last page. Magnify. We used a hand lens to magnify the grains of sand so we could see them better. Does magnify mean to separate something? To put something together? to make something look larger, or to make something look smaller. Magnify. Number 10, maximum. The bridge had a maximum weight of four tons. Is the maximum the lowest, the greatest, the weakest, or the strongest? Now, as we turn, we get to our comprehension section. And this goes with the story. If you need to, you can look back in your book. This is how you understand what you've read. Number one, I'm going to read the sentence from the article. There are few migrations as dramatic and frightening as when the desert locusts are moving across Africa. 
what does the author mean by the word dramatic? There are few migrations as dramatic as when the locusts move across. Does dramatic mean easy, entertaining, exciting, or exhausting? Number two, how does a locust look different from a grasshopper? A locust turns black. A locust turns green. A locust turns dark yellow or red. A locust turns bright orange or pink. Number three. Read the sentence from the article. And in the sudden darkness there is a terrible thunderous noise. Why did the author use the word thunderous in the sentence. In the darkness, a terrible thunderous noise. Does thunderous show how soft the noise was? Is it to show how loud the noise was? Is it to show how scary the noise was? Or is it to show how scratchy the noise was? Number four, here's another sentence. Within minutes, they will fly off again, leaving behind them a totally devastated landscape. What does the author mean by the word devastated in the sentence above? It doesn't sound good. Within minutes, they will fly off again, leaving behind them a totally devastated landscape. Is it beautiful? Different? Interesting or ruined? Next page. How does the landscape look different after the locusts have flown through? All of the lakes have dried up. All of the plants have been eaten. All of the grasshoppers have laid eggs. All of the locusts have blocked out the sun. How does the landscape look? Number six, how are today's locust swarms different from those in ancient times? To, so to swarm means they all get together and move at once. How are they different from long, long ago? Today's swarms fly lower. Today's swarms are larger. Today's swarms are smaller or today's swarms eat more plants. Number seven, how is the migration of the gray whale different from the migration of other mammals? So think about other mammals and what makes the gray whales different from these? Gray whales change color before migration. Gray whales go farther than other mammals. Gray whales do not go as far as other mammals, or gray whales do not change colors before migration. Which one of those would be correct? Number eight. The whales eat and eat and eat, straining the tiny food through strips of baleen in their mouths. Remember, these whales do not have teeth. They have something called baleen. And when they strain the tiny food, what does the author mean by the word straining? Is it to swallow? To push violently? To stretch beyond the limit? Or to remove by passing through? The last page. Number nine, how are the Arctic waters different from the waters along California and Mexico? The Arctic waters have less food. The Arctic waters are much colder. The Arctic waters are much dirtier. The Arctic waters have more people fishing there. 
week about what you read. Number 10. How are gray whales and locusts different? Well, they're different in lots of ways. Let's read the choices. Gray whales are fish and locusts are insects. Hmm. Gray whales migrate, but locusts stay in one place. Hmm. Gray whales live in the sea, but locusts live in the desert. Hmm. Gray whales lay eggs, but locusts give live birth to young. Choose carefully. Be sure to take a picture of your test and send it to me when you're finished.